So this Bernie Sanders ad that I'm about to show you is incredibly powerful. He puts a McDonald's worker front and center here. Check it out. My name is Kelly Osborne. I'm a 44-year-old single mother. I also raise a grandson that's five years old all by myself. If I didn't have him, I probably wouldn't be here. I would have nothing to survive for. Nothing. He's my special angel. I work for McDonald's for $8.25 an hour, and it's just not a living wage. I'm not making it. I'm a stage four cancer survivor. The last 12 to 15 years of my life, I've been fighting cancer. If I miss a paycheck, I'm screwed. I would literally become homeless. Iowa is a lot of working people, hardworking people. Farmers can't make it. Regular workers can't make it. We're just struggling. The whole state is. After paying rent, I barely have enough money to put food on the table and do the other things I need, like put shoes on my grandchild's feet. I live in such a small apartment, I have to go outside to change my mind. Well, my grandson has to sleep in the living room. His name is Ryden, and he is five years old, and he's partially autistic. What I would like to see for him when he gets older and gets a job is union rights, is $15 an hour, so he can survive. I work 30 to 40 hours a week, and I still can't make ends meet. And we need to stop it now. We need to make things better for everybody now, not in the future, now. The fight at McDonald's is a fight for millions of working class people who are sick and tired of working longer hours for lower wages. They are sick and tired of not being able to afford rent or health care, or child care for their children. And today we say as loudly and clearly as we can to McDonald's, pay your workers a living wage and negotiate with a union. What politician does this? What politician does this? Okay, he has repeatedly, specifically called out various corporations. Amazon, with him and Ro Khanna and the Stop Bezos Act. And then what happened? That put so much political pressure on Jeff Bezos that he was like, bah, 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 Okay, fine. Living wage, $50 an hour. You got it. You got it. Um, he did the same. He protested with Disney workers, called out Disney directly, and then they raised wages. So we got 350,000 people to raise with what they did on the Amazon front. Now, he's doing it again, and he's doing it with McDonald's now. What politician does this? What politician? See, it's one thing to be a layer removed and to just speak in general. Like, hey, I'm saying maybe we should make the, uh, the minimum wage a living wage so people can live lives of basic dignity. But to go that next step to say, hey, you, no, I'm calling you out. McDonald's, I'm calling you out. Why are your wages too low? Raise your wages. Why aren't you raising your wages? Bernie Sanders has been protesting with workers on the front line. Listen, and this isn't just like, oh, he's only doing it because he wants to run for president. He's always done it. Now it just gets a little more recognition because he's also running for president. But go back and watch that ad again. Let me ask you a question. What's that ad primarily about? Is that just an ad of Bernie Sanders for president? Is that, is that the main point of that ad? Go back and watch again. There's more time in that ad dedicated to an actual McDonald's worker telling her story and explaining what's happening in her life and what these conditions are like. So in other words, Bernie Sanders is quite literally putting the issue itself of a living wage ahead of his own presidential campaign. So he's saying, hey, pff, I'm taking a step to the side. Here's a McDonald's worker, okay? Here's the struggle that she's going through. I'm going to have her tell her story. I'm going to let you know I'm on the side of the workers. But first and foremost comes the issue. It's not every other candidate. Seriously, go back and watch like some of Biden's, like Biden's launch um, ad and some of the others. The whole thing is them in your face. And they'll tell you, 
My dad was raised in Delaware in this kind of situation, and my mom worked this kind of a job, and let me tell you my story about my life. Nobody gives a fuck about your story, bro! No, and that's not personal, nobody gives a fuck about anybody's story. I mean, if you have a really wild story, sure, some people will be interested, but if you just have, an, like, a, a somewhat normal story, they're not, they're not trying to marry you, dipshit, they're trying to determine whether or not to vote for you. Tell them what you're gonna do! Give them something that's tangible, something that's real. Hey, here's what I'm gonna fight for, and by the way, here's my record, and it proves that I've been fighting for this, so you can take me seriously. All the other candidates, it's me! The gloriousness of me! Yes! Me! Yes! Every other candidate, Bernie, is like, oh, by the way, here's a, a McDonald's worker who's struggling. Listen to her story, sympathize with her, empathize with her, and then realize this issue is more important than any campaign. This issue of a living wage and standing up against corporate power, which has had their boot on the neck of the American worker for decades, this is what this is about. We're going to fight back against this and we're going to win. And that's why he has to be supported. Because it ain't about him, and it's clear it's not about him. I've said this from the beginning with Bernie Sanders. I mean, I was covering him back when the Secular Talk YouTube channel was just a hobby. Back, it launched in 2008. God damn it, it's been over a decade. I was talking about Bernie Sanders back then, because even back then it was obvious. Oh, here's a dude who actually cares more about the issues than his own ego. And that is rare in Washington, D.C. And he's doing it again, man. That was a brilliant ad. That was a brilliant ad, because here's the deal. Anybody who sees that, who's being honest with themselves, knows. They know. They know. They could see in the other ads, the other candidates are self-obsessed and narcissistic. They know. They could see it. You could see it from a mile away. And they know when they see that ad, this that could just as easily have been like an investigative report from a good news agency just explaining what's happening with low-wage workers. Like, half of that ad, or more than half of that ad, was that. And that's why he's the real deal. Because you get the sense, at the end of the day, it's not even necessarily that he wants to be president. It's that we need an ally to real people in Washington, D.C. to even give us a fighting chance at fixing the country for the future and improving everybody's life. 